Okay, unopening of my Westinghouse. Tear in the corner down there and there. A little dent there. Again, a little banged up. But appears to be fully intact. So we'll go from there. 11500 TFC, it's the 14500 max watt. Um, so this is what comes in the box. You got a box with a wheel kit, propane regulator, charging block for the battery. And oh, the little front stands for it. Had the oil and the funnel in there also. Um, so 10W30, it is 1.26 quarts. So just a little over a quart. I actually marked my bottle um, where it's at. So I've got some five quart jugs of oil so I can just pour it in there and have it ready to go whenever I need to change. Um, so we've got our user's manual. I have seen this online. Uh, a little warranty information. Flex book. So that's kind of nice. Now I don't know if you can get all these parts, but at least you have part numbers for everything. And then product registration. I will do it online um, just to make sure. I believe it has a five-year warranty. I'll have to verify that. And a quick maintenance guide on how often you need to do things. Um, and it comes in. You should have already seen the box that it came in. This is what it looks like inside. And owner's manual is right there. That big box was right there in that corner. So I'm gonna just cut it out of the box and put the thing on it. I'll be back with that. I'm changing the drain plug even before I start it. It's a, uh, this is the one I got off eBay or Amazon. It's just a M12 by 1.5 millimeter plug um, does come with some uh, gaskets so there's actually one still on there from when I took the original one out so I'm just gonna use that since it wasn't really used so that plug I got was the wrong one um, so I'm just using the regular plug putting a little hard drive magnet I have on there um, I'm gonna reorder the right one not real happy with not having that plug that I wanted but it is what it is All right, I'm actually taking out the Torch F7TC spark plug that comes with it. Um, it was gapped at uh, 0.27, I believe it was, right in the middle of their spec. Um, I'm actually replacing it with a Autolite uh, AR52. It's a racing spark plug. Um, this is the plug right here. This number does cross over to the NGK plug that everybody recommends, um, but getting the one without the resistor um, is getting harder to find. So this Autolite plug is not a resistor plug. It matches the specs of what this engine needs. So I figure I'll try this. I got a pack of four for like 10 bucks. So, and I've got the gap set on this at 0.24. Um, I know I only plan on running natural gas or gasoline or uh, propane. All right, first start of the generator. So we've got propane plugged in, turned on, hooked up. Propane on. What I'm saying, it'll take one or two tries for it to start. Almost. I get that propane purged out.
So I have my generator hooked up and run into my house. Just an initial test. Um, and see I got my interlock here. So I gotta put all the rest of the stickers on there that came with the interlock switch I got. Um, I made this because of the weird panel setup I have. So my main breaker's off from my meter. My 50 amp breaker for the generator's on. All the rest of my breakers are on. Except my dryer, I've got a gas dryer, so that's turned off. Um, so I've got it wired. Comes here. That's gonna get loud because generator's running. That's my 50 amp box. I've got a 100 foot or 50 foot or 100 foot. I don't remember. Um, but I got that cord. It's a little longer than I needed, but I got a good deal on it. So this is the shed I was gonna put it in. Then I had this shed built. So this is where it's actually gonna go. But right now I don't have everything set up to get it running. Right now where I'm standing, it's about 85 to 90 decibels, so it is very loud out here. Um, once I get in the shed, I'm sure it'll be a lot quieter. Running off the propane right now. there to blow out a vent right there to suck in I may put a little folding cover and walls I'm not sure yet uh, on that but like I said initially it's gonna have a fan blowing out exhaust right there and have an inlet right there so the air will be circulating through I may put another fan up top that's set up to a thermostat switch um, so that would only come on if it got hot in here um, I do have some sound insulation and stuff I can put in here eventually I'm gonna put some uh, probably take my old fence boards that's falling down and put them up on there it's just to make some walls, a little bit of fiberglass insulation in here will help with noise. As you can tell, it's a little bit quieter, definitely, even just inside here, so the generator will be inside of here. Uh, Long term plan is to run off natural gas, which will be set right there. I haven't gotten it set up yet. So we'll run along this wall. about 30 feet of run I've got to do. I don't know if you saw in the shit, I've got most of the pipe for it. And my gas meter's right there. So I'm gonna run it from the meter. I'm gonna have to modify this a little bit to get the pipe through, run it down, then just run it all the way over to there. I've got a 25 foot hose that I measured and will actually just reach. So about where that white thing is, that's where I plan on ending it. I'm not sure I might run into the shed yet. I've got to figure that point out too. I may need another hose, not sure on that. But so this is just an initial test. I've done a one hour break in, no load. I did a two hour break in with just like 3,000 watts with two uh, heaters. Now I'm actually running my whole house. The temperature is nice outside, so air conditioner is not running. But I did test it. Air conditioner runs fine. I do hear a little bog down right when it kicks on. But runs fine, had the heater too. Heater seems to run fine also. So again, pretty loud. Uh, once I get into the house, it actually drops down to, let me get back to it. Uh, just with my patio door closed, it drops from 90 decibels by it. Uh, it's about 80 decibels at the door. Inside the door with the door closed, it's about 70. Go to my living room where I'm sitting, it's about 60 decibels. Like I said, this is the worst case with the generator sitting outside with everything echoing. Once I get in there, it definitely will be a lot quieter. Still be loud, but be definitely be better. So, I will do further updates as I get stuff going, but just want to close this up there just to have it out there. Oh, it's a Westinghouse uh, 11500 tri-jewel. So like I said, it's running propane now. It will be natural gas only once I get the natural gas line set up. But like I said, propane will let me just do my testing. I do have extra propane just in case I need to uh, run it natural gas something happens so and it's also giving me a test how long will it run on propane because i've had like i said three hours about three and a half now on that one tank um, so we'll see how long it runs off of the tank um, and i'll post it later when i get more done